Welcome back to ESPR Boxing. It's nice as always to be joined by Danny. We are um, reacting to the news that came out around 24 hours ago that Daniel Dubois has split from trainer Shane McGuigan and is rumoured to be um, now with uh, long-time Derek Chisora trainer Don Charles. Danny, thanks for joining me. Um, always appreciate your time. Thanks for jumping on. Um, thoughts on, first of all, thoughts on um, Daniel Dubois splitting from Shane McGuigan. Yeah, it came as a surprise to me. Um, I hadn't seen or heard any rumblings that maybe a rift was starting to form between them. Obviously, been with McGuigan since the the Joyce defeat, and by all accounts, he was the you know the relationship was going well. Um, I know we've not had a great deal of information as of yet on the reasons for the split. I mean, there's a fair chance we never do. A lot of the time, these things are sort of kept under wraps but um no I was surprised particularly when you factor in like what on the same day it was announced the date of the purse splits for a fight with Alexander Usyk I mean it's hardly ideal is it so no it was it sort of took me by surprise definitely yeah definitely um not I feel like we don't know as you mentioned we kind of don't know too much about it it's not gonna dive into it too much but it is confirmed it has happened um your thoughts on the link up with Don Charles. Don Charles obviously has coached um a lot of Derek Chisora's fights, um, been a kind of a long time, long time coach of Chisora. Um, were you we don't know what the discussions were with other trainers. Obviously, there's the USIC fight, which could be happening in the next couple of months. So you imagine Dubois maybe wanting to get himself sorted with a different trainer. But yeah, interested to get your thoughts on the the link up with Don Charles. Yeah, this was another one that took me by surprise. Um, Don Charles, as you said, coached, was in Chisora's corner for a while, then then wasn't, and then when Chisora went back to him for the Fury fight, and, like, whenever you hear, you know, Chisora and John Charles' relationship brought up, it's always just sort of under the guise that, oh, he, he gets Del Boy's personality. It's, you know, I mean... Chisora is not a fighter where like there's much technical coaching goes in. I'd imagine anyway. It always seems to be like a personality thing, and I'm not sure if I can think of any boxer, let alone a heavyweight, who's less like Derek Chisora than Daniel Dubois. <laughs> so I don't know. Maybe there there's something in that, but um, I don't know. It it was surprising. Um, we spoke. I know you mentioned a return to Martin Byers. Obviously, Mark Tibbs, a return there came up in conversation. Um, so yeah, it'll be interesting. We'll see how it develops. Um, that was another one that, that surprised me. Um, I can't think of a great deal of other fighters. Don Charles trained. I had a quick look and Buglione quite a long time ago. So I don't know. Far be it from me to to criticize the credential of someone who's been in the sport as long as him, but it was a surprising move. But you particularly factor in the sort of path Dubois had, you know, like quite a high level amateur. Um, maybe not a match you would put together instantly, but we'll see how it plays out. Yeah, no, we we'll, we will we will see. Yeah, we will. I think um, when you when someone splits from a trainer, it's always interesting to get opinions on who this guy should go with i think you know we've got to accept that it comes down to the availability of a coach does the coach yeah. want to train a fighter um some coaches are just very busy they're not in a position to take on any more fighters um but yeah the don charles move is definitely an interesting one um moving forwards post splits are supposed to be called for may the 25th which is in just over a week's time um Sounds like the Usyk fight is going to go ahead. Um, would you agree? Would yeah? Would you agree with that? Do you think we're set for that fight to happen? Yeah, I think so. Um, it had all gone very quiet, hadn't it? I mean, it mm. was confirmed as that mandatory would be called. What must be a couple of months ago now, just after the breakdown in talks for the Fury Usyk fight, and then it all went very quiet. But looks to be that you know that that's what's going to happen. I know the WBA briefly allowed an allowance for an undisputed fight but I think aside from that they were fairly determined that that fight happened um, I know that there's obviously this talk of Fury Yusuk in Saudi Arabia that doesn't seem as concrete as Joshua Wilder to me and I know skills challenge aren't said to be keen on anyone having fights in the interim for risk of that but 
as I say, the fight doesn't seem concrete. And with all due respect to Daniel Dubois, I would say this is the fight involving any of those four with the least risk. So I would be very surprised if this fight doesn't happen maybe July, August time. Yeah, fair enough. So you've kind of answered it already, but I just feel like Dubois going into a fight as tricky as Usyk with a, with a new trainer, it's an even bigger ass than it was. Um, yeah. So I'm not sure it's, it stands it, it's, it stands him in good stead. What chances do you give um, Dubois of, of beating Usyk? Dubois, look, still, in my opinion, a big puncher, one of the big, one of the biggest punchers in the division, um, has only lost one fight, which was kind of a while ago to Joe Joyce now. But yeah, how would you, how would you see that fight going down, Danny? It's a very big ask. Very, very, very big ask. Um, as you said, his power is real, without a doubt. So by that logic, you you can give him a puncher's chance. And a puncher's chance against Usyk, it's maybe not... The, like, Usyk is hittable. He's not, mm. you know, like when Tyson Fury used to get up in the back foot and you couldn't... You hit him for love and money. Usyk can be caught, obviously. Joshua had him... Hurt to the body in the the tenth round, I think it was, um, or the ninth uh, over in Saudi Arabia. So there will be aspects with the fighters' mentality that Dubois and whoever he's trained by, Don Charles, obviously, will, will take confidence from. Um, that he'll become look, you be the bigger man, you're younger, fresher. Um, he's shown it can be hurt, but in terms of almost every other metric, there's you know, worlds, worlds, a difference in levels there. So it's it's a big ask and it would be it would be the biggest upset I've seen in the heavyweight division since I've started watching boxing. Um if Dubois was to do it, certainly for a world title. Fair, fair statement. Can't disagree with that. Um see what happens next. Um Daniel Dubois um with Don Charles as his trainer looks like he will be fighting Usyk next. We think July or August at the latest. Danny, thank you very much for your time. No problem, mate. Thanks.